What's up, everybody? I know I haven't been messaging anyone back um, in a while. That's because I got put on a ban for so many days. Um, I haven't checked yet, but that ban should be up from here sometime soon. I don't know. But a lot of you may be wondering. Why am I not on YouTube right now? Well, let me explain. The reason why I'm not on YouTube right now is because the YouTuber, Music Biz Marty, decided to break into my friend's computer and stole the account that me and my friend set up for me sat right there and took it over for no reason except to get a laugh two weeks of busting my fucking ass and doing what i needed to do hard work sleepless nights even when i was sick over the last few days i was still putting in hard ass work And Marty almost cost my friend his job by doing what he did. And that's why I'm here calling out every single fucking troll that supports Marty. And Marty, I'm especially calling you the fuck out. You don't understand... Like, you genuinely do not understand how your actions affect other people, do you, Nick? You truly don't get it, do you? Like, you just, you don't get it yet, do you, Nick? You're never going to win against me. Do you not understand this concept yet? Then yeah, sure, for now you may have my YouTube channel, but eventually I am going to get it back. Whether you like it or not. Because Nick, I did a little bit of research on you last night. And let me just say this, Nick. You have your computer, guys, and I have mine. But the difference between mine and yours, mine don't back down and mine hit harder. And they did a little bit of digging on you. And Nick, you're a fucking pathetic joke. Not even motherfucking Kiwi Farms likes you. They literally crack jokes at you, bro. Every day, Kiwi Farms cracks jokes at you. There's videos all over the place. No one likes you, Nick. To be honest with you, Kiwi Farms has more respect for me than they do for you, motherfucker. They really do. And you want to know why they have more respect for me than they do for you? Because I'm not going out of my way being a piece of fucking trash. That's you, Nick. You're the human garbage, not me. You're the pathetic worm sitting out in the internet running his mouth like a little bitch. Now, let's be honest, Nick. The only reason why you go after my fucking channel is so you can steal it. Because, because all you care about, Nick, is money. You don't care who you steal it from. You don't care who gets affected. You don't care who you rip off. 
You don't care who almost loses their job or ends up losing their job. You have no morals. You say you have morals? No, you don't. If you did, you wouldn't have done what you did last night. You literally almost cost one of my friends their fucking job because of your little fucking stunt. Do, do you find that funny? Do you find it funny that you almost cost someone their job because of your little fucking antics, you fat fucking piece of shit? Because that's exactly what you are, Nick. You're a piece of fucking human garbage. And you want to sit there and talk shit about me bullying you? No. You're bullying me and my, and I'm defending myself against your actions. I am the way that I am because of you. Everything that's going on with me is your fault, Nick, and you know it. Every little piece of it is your fucking fault. The shit with Kate... All of it is your fucking fault. You're the reason why I don't have a career right now. You're the reason why I'm on the back burner right now. You're the fucking reason why I'm living in hell every day. Because you think that it's cute and that it's funny. Well, let me tell you, you fat bitch. Kiwi Farms don't think that it's funny. If anything, they're on my side at this point, bro. I've seen the videos. They don't like you. Yeah, sure, they might crack jokes at me here and there, and I'm cool with that. But, dude, they literally make fun of you because you do the same shit over and over every fucking day, dude. Every day you do the same shit over and over. Reposting someone else's stream. Doing this, doing that. Why? Because you're pathetic, dude. You're trash. You're garbage. And honestly, just being around you makes me sick. Just being around you makes me sick to my stomach. Why? Because you're fucking human fucking garbage. You don't deserve a platform. You don't deserve to live. You don't deserve to breathe. Because all you are is an internet bully trying to use other to gain what you want. You know, I feel bad for your mom and dad because they have a punk ass bitch for a son. They have a fucking liar and a thief for a son. And the Mr. and Mrs. Beagler, Nick's parents, I feel bad for you because you have a disgrace of a human being for a son. You have a selfish piece of shit for a son who does nothing but ruins people's lives all for his own selfish fucking gain. But at the same time, you are also to blame as well. Because you've not stepped up as parents to say something to him or make him stop. I mean, come on. You see what he's doing and how it's wrong. It's called get the FBI after him. Get the cops on him. Not that hard. But I do feel sad for you because your son is a total piece of shit. And Nick, that's exactly what you are. You're a worthless piece of shit. And Jamie, I don't see, I don't understand what you see in that fat fucking piece of shit. You see what he does. He sits there and runs his mouth. He sits there and bullies people. He's lazy. He don't do shit. He don't put in the hard work that I put in. So tell me, what do you see in this fucking loser? 
Because that's exactly what Nick is. He's a fucking piece of shit loser. All he does is restream other people's streams. That's all he does. He don't have a creative bone in his body. He's not a musician like me. He's not a music artist like me. He's not a content creator like I am. He has no business being on the platform, period. Which is why I am going to say this, Nick. I hope you and N-Word Boy are ready. Because my guys are going to be coming after you hard. And we will not stop until you are arrested and you are kicked off of every platform, period. Because now that you've almost cost one of my friends their job by doing your little stunt last night, you have now set off a chain of events that is probably going to have you arrested for the rest of your miserable fucking pathetic life. And if you don't think that's going to happen, just wait and find out. Because karma's a bitch, Nick. And karma's my best friend. I told you, Nick, eventually you are going to slip up. And you did. I told you you were going to slip up. And you fucking did. Now it's my turn to fire back. Only difference is, I'm going to be disappearing back into the shadows for a while and waiting you out. And trust me, in due time, when the time is right, which will be here soon, I will be striking back. You're not going to know when, and you're not going to know how. Could be a day, could be a week, could be a month or even a year. But just know, Nick, that my career is not over yet. And I'm not going to be done with you until you're behind bars. Do you understand that? I am going to make sure that you get arrested. I am going to make sure that you sit behind bars for as long as humanly possible. And I know what you're going to say, but, but you always say that. Let me tell you, Nick, this time is very different, I can assure you. Like I said, you got your guys, and I got my guys. Only difference between my guys and your guys, my guys don't back down like bitches. The guys I roll with, they have got my back. They don't back down. They're not afraid of your pathetic little bitch boy, N-word boy. Oh, and N-word boy, you may as well pack up and go home, kid. You may as well pack your shit up and go home. Because unless you want to get caught in the crossfire of one of my guys go after Marty, Unless you want to get caught in that crossfire, boy, I suggest you back off and run. Because when they go after you, if they catch you and they go after you, you're not going to survive. You will be run off the internet, just like Marty is going to be.
But like I said, Marty, this is your warning. This is your one warning to let you know that it may be true that I might not be on YouTube right now because of you. But regardless of that, I will always be watching. And just know, Nick, I know everything. I know all your hidden secrets. Everything you hide in your Discord servers. Every move you make. I know all and I see all, Nick. You can run, but you cannot hide what you do. Because you will pay for what you've done, Nick. You most, you most certainly will pay. And this time, you're not going to pay with your channel. You're not going to pay with money. You're not going to pay with a bargain. No. This time, you're going to pay with your life. You took my life away. Now it's my time to take yours. So just know, Nick, it's only a matter of time before you're done. It's merely just a matter of time before you are done. So just know that I'm watching and waiting. And eventually, you will crumble and you will go to prison for what you've done. So like I said, Marty, you can run, but you cannot hide. I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you, Marty. I am coming for your life. I'm going to take everything from you just like you took everything from me. So just be warned. Everything you care about will soon be gone. 